I started creating the menu-driven system in a council application. So to create a council application, you are going to go to File, New Project, and under Visual C Sharp, I've selected Council Applications. You're going to give your Council Application a name. Okay, and whatever name you put here, what Visual Studio will do is it will create the namespace of your project name. So I call this one XYZ Order System. In a console application, uh, C Sharp's all automatically going to add what you see here in line 9, class program. And all of your logic needs to begin between the curly braces for the class program. So I've put my cursor right behind the curly brace on line 35, and you see here are the curly braces for this class. C Sharp will automatically create this static void main string args also. Um, if you were in CIP 104, and you've done console applications, we only added all our logic in between this main method. The main method is the starting method. Think of it as the main program. Now you will notice I've added additional methods here. So here's my display menu method. Here's the new customer method, etc. And all of these methods align with the flowchart Okay, our sub-processes in the flowchart. There's display menu, there's new customer, etc. So I haven't added any logic, but as you see for a method, we're going to write static void and then the name of the method. Now the naming convention in C Sharp for method names will be what we call Pascal casing. And so there's no spaces allowed, but we just capitalize the beginning of every word. Now this is different than variables. Variables use camel casing. So in, for example, if I needed a variable, it would have to be cased like this, where the beginning of uh, the name will be lowercase and only uppercase additional words. So let me take that out and give me a little syntax error. Okay, so methods then, don't worry about what static and void mean. We're going to get to that in chapter 7, excuse me, yeah, chapter 7, and you will, we'll just add a pair of parentheses after the method name. And then you have curly braces, and all the logic for display menu should come in between these sets of curly braces. Okay, we'll get to more in just a bit.